Hey guys, Brick Queen here with another updated review on a 2006 Lego Batman set. I know you guys are wanting to see the Batcave and I promise I am working on it. In fact, I even have part of it right here. There's part of it. I'm still working on finishing rebuilding that. I promise it is coming soon. But in the meantime, I thought I would show you another one of the old Batman sets. Um, this is one of the smallest ones. I think there's one that's a little smaller. Uh, this one has 92 pieces. Obviously, there's too many figures. It came out in 2006. It was originally a $10 set. Can you believe it? I think if this came out now, it would probably be more like a $20 set. So this, I think, is awesome. I really like this little set. Um, although, I do think that if LEGO decided to remake this set, I think they could do a much better job on it. They could really enhance the dragster, especially. So the set, it, it's, I don't know if I mentioned the set number, it's 7779. It's called the Batman Dragster Catwoman Pursuit. So obviously you get too many figures and I know that I have accidentally confused the Catwomans in the past, but this is the original Catwoman and you can tell that uh, between this one and the next one after it because this oldest one has a wider space between the eyes on the mask. That's like the big giveaway uh, because the next one that they made after it is very similar, but it is actually different. Um, and I missed that before, so I want to point that out. Um, but still, very nice figure and even got a double-sided face on that. So we have one, you know, where, you know, she has like a regular face and then we have her mask on that side, which I think is awesome. I really like uh, the original Catwoman. I think they did a good job on it back in the day. And this here is the really kind of the first version of Batman that we got. Um, and so there's the face. It's got a little mark on it there, but this is the original. And no second face for Batman. Also no back printing. It's got one of these old hard capes, but still I think it's a very nice figure. It's just a very kind of classic Batman. So I, I like the minifigures in this. I think it's great. Now, we do have the awesome Batman dragster here, but this is Catwoman's motorcycle, because obviously it's, it's a chase. So they each need something to ride on. And I like her motorcycle because, you know, you have the little eyes on there, which is a sticker, not something I'm gonna complain about though. I think there's only about three or four stickers on the whole set. I think that's it, if I remember correctly. Um, Cause I think it's just the eyes and two bat symbols uh, on the dragster. There might be another one um, I might come across, but I think it's just the three. Um, so it's got the eyes and then it's got these little pieces that make it look like ears, which is great. I just noticed the eyes are not centered and that, that, that bothers me. I wanna fix it, but I also don't wanna mess up this old sticker. Um, so I don't know if I will or not. Definitely not right now. Anyway, uh, still, it's a very nice old motorcycle. I like that she's got, you know, the purple one. It's even got a whip on the back, kind of a, kind of like a cat tail. So I think it's awesome. I love that. I'm actually gonna just go ahead and put her on there. And then the dragster, the dragster is kind of cool here. Um, so, like I said, they could improve this if they remade it. I would love to see a new dragster um just a a updated version of this exact set would be fantastic um you do have these old style flick fire missiles that really aren't even like connected see they're they just kind of set in there and you just push them out so old style there but i mean you can move them around where you want to basically and you can open this up it's kind of stiff um, so sometimes the whole thing kind of comes apart when I do that, but that's how you open it up. And there's the two um, bat symbols I was talking about a minute ago with the stickers. So there we go. <laughs> that's what I was talking about. It's these pieces are so old that uh, sometimes when you go to bend that, it kind of just all comes apart. And it's not, I, I guess it's because part of it I left built 
Um, I didn't take every single piece apart, but uh, I kind of took it apart in sections and then put it in a bag for storage. Um, but anyway, I think this is awesome. And I, I like the end of it a lot. You can see when you move it, this has uh, one of the rotating pieces up at the front. So you can kind of turn it around like that. It maneuvers a lot better than you would think um, because normally with one this long, it's not gonna turn well, but actually this turns great. It is actually really, really cool. So I personally really like it. Um, <laughs> let me know your thoughts about this set in the comments below. Like I said, I would absolutely love to see a new version of this exact set. <laughs> it would be awesome in my opinion. And also I, like I said, I am working on, uh, you know, rebuilding the original Batcave. So stay tuned for that. I promise you it is coming very soon. Um, I just have to finish rebuilding it. <laughs> There's a couple of pieces I think I've misplaced and I will locate those and get that uh, video done very, very soon. I'm actually really excited to rebuild that set. It's one of my favorites and I, I have not had it built in um, at least six or seven years. It, it's been in a bag and I haven't seen it, so I'm excited. Anyway, if you want to see any other classic Batman sets, um, either before or after the Batcave. It could be before while I'm still working on it. Uh, it's a big task. That set has over a thousand pieces. Let me know in the comments if you have any requests and I will see you guys later.